Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Hope everything is fine because today we're reviewing the USAS-12, that ultimate weapon that used to be considered the most OP back in the day. I remember going into servers and seeing a USAS kill me and rage instantly. No FAMAS, no L85, but shotguns such as this one, the Elite's version used to be deadly and would make everybody rage. So, the gameplay you're currently watching is a very old one, recorded on March 13th of this year. And in the background you may hear a voice, and that's the voice of my friend, we're playing together on Skype, and that should explain that. So yeah, I just want to give a shout out to Blue Toffees1981, it's an early shout out to you, early birthday shout out I should say, because his birthday is on August 15th, and uh, you know, I just want to give you an early birthday shout out, so here's your shout out man. And yeah, without further ado, let's dive right into this gun review because I have a lot of things to say and talk about this gun. Now the USAS-12 or the USAS like I like to call it is a fully automatic shotgun designed in the 1980s and manufactured by South Korean arms manufacturer Daewoo Precision Industries. USAS-12 actually means Universal Sports Automatic Shotgun and the 12 signifies the 12 gauge caliber. In Battlefield Play for Free, the USAS-12 is a shotgun available for all four classes for the primary slot. It has three variants, the regular, veterans and elites which are unlocked at level 17, 21, and 25, which is fairly high in my opinion. The USAS-12 has a reload time of 4.37 seconds, which is not bad in my opinion. It reloads by magazine and not fed individually its shells, so you should take that into consideration that when you're going to be reloading the shotgun, you're going to be actually filling in a whole magazine and not just putting it each shell individually. This weapon has a projectile velocity of 800 meters per second, which is very powerful but of course useless since you won't be using this thing at other distances than close range but also if a vehicle is coming towards you, you can actually spray at the bulletproof glass and you know towards the driver of the Humvee or you know gauze and you can actually penetrate the, the glass with those pellets and actually be able to kill him so that's something really good about high projectile velocity that I should let you guys know about now for the regular gun you get 6 rounds per magazine the veterans version gets you 8 and the elite USAS gets you 10 Either way you pick, it is still somewhat very low considering the speed of which its gun fires. According to Pellets, which I'm eternally grateful to, by the way link to his channel and rate of fire thread in this description, um, he tested out this weapon and came up with the conclusion that the USAS-12 has a rate of fire of 350. It took him 1.34 seconds to fire off 8 rounds, so imagine having the veterans version, it's gonna take you 1.34 seconds to actually finish off and empty your whole clip, which is really really fast. With this gun, you'll be burning through ammo very very quickly, making reload times much more consistent and dragging you out of the action for some time. The USAS fires 6 pellets, meaning that one shot will be divided into 6 different pellets with each hitting their own damage and having their own deviation. For total counts of ammo, you get 24 for the regular, 32 for the veterans and 40 for the elites. Once again, 40 may sound like a lot, but you can burn through all of this so quickly and find yourself without ammunition. A prime example of this would be this gameplay, which you'll see me run out of ammunition. The most important factor for any weapon that everybody likes to discuss is damage, so I made a little grid here to aid the comprehension for all three variants for every single range. You can see that the damage difference per pellet is not very great. Differences of plus one, plus two is not that high, but take into consideration that if you multiply that by the amount of pellets hitting your enemy, in this case a maximum of six, you can inflict a maximum of something like twelve more damage onto your enemy, which is always a plus. For all variants, at close range you can have a one-shot kill if you land every single pellet onto your enemy. For maximum accuracy, you want to be crouched. I would suggest hip firing because it grants you more agility and doesn't slow you down like the iron sights. After all, this is a combat shotgun, and the recoil and overall design of this gun, you know, makes this a hip fire beast. You can see me use the iron sights from time to time, but that's just for video and informational purposes. But I'd suggest hip firing for close range and completely avoiding, you know, using iron sights for medium range. This brings me to my next point. For rolls, classes, and gunfights you want to attempt while using the USAS-12. Since this is a shotgun, close range is what you want to do with this thing. Some people like to test their luck and try this thing at medium range, but it really isn't reliable. Recoil, deviation, range, ammo count, damage drop-off are all factors that can play when it comes to inaccuracy and losing gun to gunfight. With that being said, close range is definitely the answer and shining point to this weapon. Approaching enemies can be hard if you go directly for the enemy itself and shooting all loud, so the playstyle I would suggest with this is a stealthy player. So run around, you know, flank, hide, stalk your enemy and kill him when the time is right. With the rate of fire and damage and close range, It'll be very very hard for your enemy to kill you once you're spotted, so all you have to do is just wait for the proper time and take him out. Defending flags is also very very good, 
when enemies are hiding behind a cover or you know anywhere like that in a corner cover or anything like that because you can easily just spray the area take them by surprise and take them out i see myself using this gun on all classes but the assault class definitely has some advantages that point out and shine the rate of fire plus ammo count combination of this gun is something that definitely ruins this weapon you will lose ammo so quickly and it's hard to encounter assaults that actually give ammo so unless you're in a squad or you can get some ammunition the assault is a very good choice for this for the use of this weapon um, the recon is also a very good choice with motion sensors, you know, you get that reconnaissance advantage. Um, you laying down some motion sensors gives you the advantage to see if there are more than just that one enemy you're stalking, which would be very, very important. And the medic is pretty straightforward, the ability to heal is definitely a strong one. And uh, many people would pick that class just for the sole ability of healing. Engineer is also a very good option, but take into account that if you're going to be playing in Shrekia or Basra, you know, RPG, mines, and the repair tool is not really needed because of the absence of vehicles, but this does not mean that you cannot use this gun on Oman. You know, sticking to the appropriate locations of any single map in this game, like Dragon Valley, you know, Dalian, even Dalian Rush, you know, this, this will bring you success. You just want to know where you want to be at to, you know, to properly use the weapon. An important thing to mention is the fact that you'll be needing a very good sidearm for this weapon, something that you can easily pull out and spray quickly, something like an MP443 or a P226, because you'll really be needing it when it comes to sick, sticky situations where you'll be running out of ammo really really quickly. Lastly, before I finish off and give my rating, I would also like to suggest this gun as a double primary weapon. So as annoying as it may sound, or how much hate you'll get, I find like the USAS is not a primary gun, but more of a secondary finisher. You can be using any weapon and have the USAS in your secondary slot in case you run into some sticky situations. Or I've seen some other people do what they'll do is use the Elite USAS as their primary and have the Veterans version as their secondary, which is a bit weird. It takes a lot of money to do that and uh, you know a high level as well. So if you don't have that money or the high level, I wouldn't suggest even doing it because there's no point. Just use any other weapon. But uh, you know I would suggest that as a double primary weapon instead of just a, sec a single you know, individual primary. Is the USAS really worth getting? I wouldn't personally purchase it. With all the no fully automatic shotgun servers, the lack of bullets, even for the Elite's version, it really does give this gun a weak point. It's very deadly for the first enemy or two, but if you can run into a squad of enemies, then you find your vulnerability. For that reason, I would rate this gun a 7 out of 10. I'd maybe give the Elite's a 7.5 out of 10. It's a decent shotgun, fun to use, different and refreshing, but it's not a must own. With that investment on the shotgun, you're also going to have to think about a pretty solid pistol to have on your side. Renting this weapon once unlocked is, a, is the way to go, because this gun is not really worth the permanent purchase. Thanks for watching everybody, hope you guys enjoyed. This review is approved by Professor Snipe. I want to thank Pellets once again for his rate of fire calculations. He helped me out tremendously and is still doing so as well. So if you want to help him out, drop by his channel and go ahead and subscribe. I have the annotation on screen right now. Um, he has, or, he already has more than 500 subscribers, he commentates and does excellent videos, so that's all I have for today, have a great day, and yeah, peace.